Welcome back to Rec Hall in University Park, Pennsylvania, the home of the Nittany Lions of Penn State, and with six teams competing here in the regionals and four disciplines in each rotation, we'll see for the first time this evening, Iowa State and the host Penn State Nittany Lions get underway. Michigan's on the vault, Iowa State on the uneven bars. Missouri goes to the balance beam, and Penn State now on the floor exercise. Laura K. Powell is a sophomore for Iowa State out of Ottawa, Ontario in Canada. She's five foot five inches tall, ranked 22nd all around in the nation. And the Cyclones uh, having an excellent year. And one of the two co-favorites in this field of six to advance to the finals in Los Angeles. Powell was third at the recent Big 12 championships and did a beautiful bar team during those championships. Just kind of waiting for the judges. She's got some big skills in this bar team. This is a fun event to watch. A lot of speed and explosiveness in the routines. The judges are looking for certain things in this event. I mentioned handstands. They're also looking for two different bar changes high to low or low to high, two different flight elements, one pirouette of 360 degrees, or at least 180 degrees, and of course the dismount. Beautiful straddle Jaeger, right to an overshoot. Just plain fun to watch this exercise. Absolutely, and she has such wonderful form. The judges will certainly reward that. Mm. Beautiful line, stuck dismount. Doesn't get much better than that. Laura K. Powell from Iowa State. Now to the vault. And the University of Michigan competing there. And Elise Ray. This is the former Olympian in the 2000 Games. Now competing collegially at the University of Maryland of Columbia, Maryland. So I'll repeat myself all night saying this is a great event for her. She's good on all four events, but she's ranked first in the Northeast region on vault. And of course, if we'll remember back to the 2000 Olympics, Elise was one of the gymnasts that got a little bit harmed from the vault being set at the wrong height. It was actually set <laughs> a little bit lower than it was supposed to be and kind of messed some of the gymnasts up. Oh, right. Yeah, what a terrible thing in a sport so precise. Yeah, very tragic for that to happen. Just amazing. Brace for balance and focus, and she's underway. Round off your chingle. Full twist. Very solid. And again. Let's see this one again. These vaults, a lot of these girls are going to do your Chanko laid out full. What the judges are looking for to differentiate, they're going to look at her leg positioning in the air. Are legs together? Hers are. Her toes are pointed. And do they stick the landing? What would you say? I would give that a stick. It's hard to see from our angle exactly if her feet moved or not, but I would give that a stick. Miranda Beckman is uh, getting ready to go on the balance beam. She's just a freshman competing for the University of Missouri. Miranda actually trained for a little while at the gym I was at in Oklahoma. I remember her as this, this little bitty girl. It's great to see her out there. Enjoying gymnastics with a college scholarship. Five foot four now and a freshman at Missouri. And she trained with Bart Connor, one of our uh, analysts here on CN8 in our gymnastics coverage throughout the year. Former Olympian. Excellent beam marker. It was a beautiful and, and quite solid series. Hands for hands from the layout step out. Now if she's at the Bart Connor Academy, I guess she gets a little training from Nadia Komenich as well on this exercise. <laughs> Hopefully some of that 10 will rub off. Yeah. Torjate, very difficult leap she just did. She's one of the few gymnasts that I've seen actually smile while they're on the balance beam. Yeah, that's a good point. This is tough. This always looks painful. <laughs> She liked it. And 
for the Nittany Lions. In front of the hometown crowd. And there's a growl to get her in the mood. Lady Lions in the floor exercise as a team. Kate Stopper is a five foot one inch junior from Reynolds, Pennsylvania. Kate's favorite event. You can tell she's enjoying it. Kate's known for her inter interesting and choice of music. <laughs> she's had a little bit of Link of Park. She's had a little bit of everything. She likes to do her floor routine to the same type of music she likes to listen to. Mm. Directly to a double tuck, that's a tough pass to do. You have to get your timing just right to go from horizontal power to vertical power. That is an interesting musical selection. <laughs> Always a crowd favorite. seems to exude some great individual personality in this routine. She really does. And I think, you know, if you have that type of personality and, and you can show it through your floor routine, you can pretty much choose any type of music you want. Kate Stopper with a showstopper in front of the home crowd here at Penn State. On the bars now for Iowa State is Erin Detloff. 12th all around nationally coming into the competition. Native of Omaha, Nebraska. Nice hop full over the bar. Right to another full pirouette. Right into a reverse head. Tough combination. Hitting those handstands. Double out, stuck dismount. They want to go to nationals bad. Excellent routine. They're the uh, ninth ranked team nationally. And here she is again. Watch this dismount. Beautiful double out. Doesn't move anything on that landing. Lisa Clark is the fifth competitor for the Penn State team here on the floor exercise. Five foot seven out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. One of the taller gymnasts competing. in her leap. Again. <laughs> Double twist punch front. A lot of personality on this. Team. Yeah, same. Full twisting Shishinova. corner. You always like to do a few extra arm moves there to catch your breath. And then the run. Mm. Beautiful routine. Stopper and now Lisa Clark with a couple of excellent back-to-back -back floor routines for Penn State. Well, the long and short of it, we saw the competitor Lisa Clark at five foot seven. Here's Lauren Schwartzman at four foot ten. Sophomore from San Antonio, Texas. I love 
love to watch her beam. She is such a wonderful beam worker. She is so solid in every movement. She just won the Big 12 title in this event and has already scored a 10-0 once at least. is a rock. That is probably the most difficult series, your bounce wing series you're going to see in this competition. I mean, really, like it was nothing. Like the beam was six feet wide. She pays just as much attention to her leaps as she does to those big skills, the big acro skills. On the Big 12 championship. <laughs> On the beam here as well. Solid <laughs> routine. Very happy with that routine. May have been her best leap of the whole uh, routine <laughs> right there at the end. Lauren Schwartzman on the beam. Here's her series. Round off back handspring step out right to lay out step out. Knows she has it as soon as her feet hit the beam. <laughs> and a big smile. And we go back to the bars and competitor number 117 from uh, Iowa State is Janet Anson. Full pirouette. Changed to a Strauss Jaeger. Very nice form. A nice little poet into a double type oh, dismount. Boy. Yeah, the Iowa State team and Georgia, all their competitors so far have been near flawless. University of Rhode Island and one of their individual athletes here is Brooke Hamilton. We saw Brooke earlier in the Towson Invitational this year on CNA. Leg split there. Nice Pike Jaeger to an overshoot. And you can see her coach is in there for the spot. He's allowed to spot her, just not to touch her. Do it while she's doing the routine, or that's a deduction. And Brooke Hamilton gets some high fives as she concludes her performance on the bars. And we'll have more from Penn State, the 2004 Northeast Regionals.